Welcome back to another video and today we're looking at your C suggestions. Yet again another of these videos but we've got a slight twist on this one so it should make it quite interesting. Anyways let's hop right into the PRC Discord. Our first suggestion here, make an ID card for civilians here. So as you can see, identification card, Liberty County and then basically as you can see you have the username and just some info about the person. This has been requested quite a lot and I'm going to make my own little ID card in Photoshop now. Blank canvas and our card will kind of go in the corner of the screen somewhere over here so if we just go ahead and slap this over here we'll add a bit of a rounded corner to that small issue there with the text for some reason or another but let's go and put this on here i've just gone ahead and saved the image from the roblox profile so my roblox profile image here and what we're going to do now is we're going to put this in a circle to make it look a bit nicer and not look kind of weird and everything so and look at that amazing stuff Amazing stuff. I'm going to try something. So what I'm doing now is I've taken a photo in game and we're going to go ahead and overlay this photo onto our little card rectangle here. So if we could just go and create a clipping mask. No, that doesn't work. I just realized why I can't do this is because for some reason Photoshop doesn't like me adding an image on top of a rounded rectangle. So I guess we're just going to have to do it the manual way. It's going to take a tiny bit of time, but it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. All right, I've done a pretty good job of that, except for that bottom left corner, but we're going to ignore that. I think that looks pretty, pretty cool, honestly. And I'm going to go and make this a bit more opaque, actually. No, what it was was fine, we'll leave it like that. Yeah, okay, I think that looks decently cool. For my date of birth, we'll go and copy in my uh, Roblox character or my Roblox username's date of birth, I guess. Um, and can I make this box any smaller? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Now, before any of you accuse me of copying, the reason I'm doing this is because I, I do kind of want to copy and I'm taking inspiration from their own uh, kind of thing here. And we can probably just copy and paste that color. That'll look a lot better and we'll make this bold. And then I think that will look pretty good. There you go. So there's my signature. We'll just uh, put a small little line under here. Because I don't really want to spend too much time on one identification card. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think. Quite crowded on the card and like this isn't evenly spaced out. But I'd say I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think, uh, I think I've done a pretty good job with that. And it's got all the information you need. And you know, it's got your job. Um, and then it can have your rank, your account date of birth, uh, your house number or your house location in uh, the game. And then it can have your uh, display name just in like weird text to look like a signature. We've got this one here, which is uh, talking about more in-depth light customization. I kind of do like this one, honestly. Um, this would be quite nice because as you can see on the front, uh, instead of just having the default uh, visor lighting, you could have minimal right, minimal left, minimal center, and then full lights is what we would normal have. I kind of like this actually, because then you can customize it even further. And I don't think that would even be too hard to do. So yeah, I think that one could be possible and a good idea. So yeah, good job there. Oh look, that looks familiar. Wonder where they got that from. Well, anyways, we've changed the name now, so yeah. Ooh, look at this, this is cool. The ability to edit the ELS pattern and colors in private servers. Good job, Sheriff. Is that Beam in G Drive? I think it is, maybe, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Anyways, look at this. So as you can see, you can add ELS. And, oh, this is nice. So it's kind of like an animator. Import pattern, export pattern, save changes, add step to light. So as you can see, you can add the different steps here. We have all the different locations. I really do like this one. This one is done very nicely. I know there'll be some people who definitely like to see something like this here. And especially for different locations, different locations in the world have different uh, ELS patterns, not like a universal ELS pattern. So I really do like that, good job. And a downvote to suggestions. This has got 82 stars. Amazing, great stuff. Make these placeful, I do agree. Not really a Photoshop, but I do agree. That would be really cool if we could have those placeful. And they've already got it in the game. All they need to do is group it, turn it into a tool, and then just allow us to place it. Add a roundabout. Hmm, a roundabout would be quite nice. And it's actually a good place for a roundabout. There's still one or two awkward parts with this, and it's just the way the road is laid out. As obviously you can see, this part is, is quite awkward here. And if there's a car right there, then you kind of need to, yeah, it's a bit of a tricky maneuver here. Um, so a roundabout there would work because all the, oh gosh, what am I doing on ice skates? All they need to do is just clear out this area and then add a mini roundabout. I think that could actually work. 
Ah, uh, yes, bear cat liveries. I was talking about this earlier today with my server. Bear cat with liveries. I'd kind of like that. I would kind of like that. But, I don't know, maybe in the future we could see it because um, it's not impossible. It's just, you know, it's not exactly possible for the moment, as far as I'm aware. Um, but, I don't know. I think it would be pretty nice. This would actually give DOT a purpose. Amazing. Amazing. So, we have, like, broken down cars. I've seen a lot of these recently. That would be pretty nice. And all they need to do, get one of their cars, take off a couple of wheels, and then randomly generate at the side of the road. I think that would be amazing. These are amazing. I don't even know how people do this. Like, it does look a bit weird, like, especially this one with the ramp up. But I have to say, like, this truck, that looks really, really good. But yeah, I'd say I'd like to see something like that. Classic game pass here. And what have we got? We've got some more things. A wheel lock. Use these to stop wanted criminals from using their car. I'm, I'm a bit unsure about the grenades part, but possibly a wheel lock could be quite nice. We've got another of these ELS pattern suggestions here, so as you can see, ELS pattern, new pattern, kind of add one, and then step one, two, three, four, five, six, new pattern, step one, uh, step one on, and then, yeah, this is quite nice. Right, remove your grill lights. We could have complete undercover cars, like, we could have uh, cars that you wouldn't even be able to know, except for the number plate, that, oh, that would be amazing. Anyways, we're going to try and make this, we're going to try and make this in uh, Photoshop somehow. Firstly, though, I'm going to hop on uh, police, and then I'm going to steal some of the ERC assets. I uh, will just steal some of the colors at least that they use so I can edit the car. And why am I running so slow? What's happened to all my stamina? Let's just go over to something like this here and then we'll go ahead and open this up. Got my little ID card over there. So for the moment here, we'll go ahead and uh, put an ICY on here. The reason I'm keeping this on the same page is just so I, I have them all together, I guess. In game, the curve isn't actually a lot. It's kind of only in the top corners. And then we're going to go ahead and make this black. We don't need a stroke on this. And then what we'll do... Actually, no, we don't need to fill this at all. Yes, that's a good green. All right, I'm also going to make it fit in because these buttons are square. In it. Yeah, no, we're going to make this fit in quite nicely here. So we'll have the submit button here. Don't need it as big though. Tiny gradient. Ah, there we go. We've mastered the ERC gradient. Uh, now we make this a tiny bit smaller because it doesn't need to be that massive. And then there we go. It does also... Yeah, never mind. All right. We've got yet another gradient. Aren't we very happy about this here? ERC... Oh no, I cut off the photo bit. All right, uh, I'm going to say this a tiny bit darker. Then. And then that goes to a full white. So another little gradient there. And there you go. Um, you know, I, I'm not honestly sure what to say about this, honestly. Like, I feel like I'm missing a lot out of this, but I don't know what to add. So, I, I'm probably going to come back to this in a future video, but for the moment, I guess that's simplified version. Yeah, I don't really know how to add everything onto this, but the person who actually created this did a great job, so good job to them. JP Gaming. Well done, well done. I do like this idea, though. Customizable ELS. I think that'll be... A really, really cool system, honestly. Oh, I absolutely love this idea. I've talked about this ages, but private server edition, changing the names. Um, so basically, you're able to change the name, especially on the fire trucks. It'd be amazing because we, in the open world server, we've got a command vehicle, and it'd be amazing if we could change that. Um, and especially, like, you know, especially businesses. It'd be amazing if you could just change the text, upload an image. Like, what they'd have to do is uh, kind of have a, a panel in the admin panel, or the admin console, and you can upload a picture, and then change the text and I think that'd be quite nice. What in the world have I just witnessed? Is this a Lamborghini? Can we all give a round of applause to this person here? Like, wow. I, I never thought we'd see the day when a suggestion of a... I, I don't even know what type of Lamborghini it is. SUV Lamborghini with a RCVD livery on. That is class amazing group chat as well that's quite nice actually yeah that would be so good because if you're in a mafia and you're trying to talk to people all over the map it would be so handy if you can have a group chat because then you can just have a group chat with all the people in your mafia that would honestly be so handy we've got a staff panel or a tablet here this is made by someone on my server so basically a moderator control panel uh, which would be pretty cool i i like the idea of a moderator control panel i've been talking about this for an age I've been talking about this for ages, but the one thing I don't want to see is ERC introducing a staff team, staff headquarters, or kind of like uh, on the actual MDT, adding a staff section. Um, you know, I would like this, but only if it's separate to the actual MDT. Otherwise, it's kind of ruining the private server roleplay experience for me. Uh, that's me personally, but this is quite nice, actually. It's an announcement notepad. 
Uh, you can send different announcements. I like this. I do like this here. And then you can kind of see different people here. I talked about this in my previous Photoshop video where we could actually have a control panel instead of typing out commands. Now, there's benefits and, you know, there's pros and cons of both. But I don't know. Something like this would be pretty cool. And I like how they've implemented it into the current uh, MDT sort of system. It's quite nice. Anyways, that will conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching and all the hard work that I put in over an hour in Photoshop. I think that is extreme dedication right there. But uh, anyways, we'll be back soon on the channel with more videos like this here. And I've got some big videos coming soon uh, as time is freeing up in real life, which is good which is good. So if you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and subscribe and make sure to stay up to date with more videos up every single day. So with that said, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.